The NRMA Insurance Western Sydney Wanderers answered their critics at the weekend with a 1-0 win over Newcastle Jets at Hunter Stadium on Saturday night. In a dominant away display, Mark Bridge scored the only goal of the game, killing any reports of a slump in form for the Wanderers. I know there's been a lot written about our, our form slump and, and our droughts, uh, but uh, nothing's changed for us. I mean, we, we've still been coming in very positive. I feel like we've been improving every week and it's good signs for us. We're coming off two draws. Um, one against a, a Melbourne Heart team that were lucky to get points against us and another one a tough trip to Wellington. Uh, so, yeah, of course everyone loves winning, but it's not like we've been in deep depression for the last two weeks. I think it's always a good feeling after a win, uh, regardless of when you get that win. Um, uh, it's, I think it's just uh, standard that everyone wakes up feeling a bit better. But, um, you know, overall, uh, you know, we've, we felt that uh, that win was coming. We've been pleased with our performances and I'm, you know, I'm delighted for the players that um, they get a reward for how they've been playing uh, with the three points as well. Western Sydney face Central Coast Mariners who suffered a 4-0 defeat last round and have a game this Thursday before their visit to Pertex Stadium on Monday night. But Tony Poffick still expects a tough test. I'm, I'm not sure how, how tough it will be for them physically. I think they showed last year with the ACL, uh, you know, they, they played through that difficult period which we haven't experienced yet, so we don't know what they went through, but they seem to handle it very well and, and they won a grand final. So, uh, you know, we won't underestimate them one little bit. Uh, just due to their congestion of games, we still expect a, a really tough match on, on Monday. It's tough to say. Um, I mean, it's still a very good side. I mean, they've obviously the, the changing coach um, and, and Liam Reddy coming in goals since we played them. So. Um, Look, they're a good team and they're always going to be a good team. They have a great squad, so uh, it, it'll be an interesting game come Monday. With a busy festive season of fixtures, Popovich sees it as a positive preparation for the upcoming Asian Champions League. Obviously with those games in a short turnaround, it will be more about recovery for the players. So it's a good opportunity for us to uh, work on a few things uh, to prepare us for that difficult period. And, um, you know, but as a playing group and, and staff, you know, it's something we're looking forward to and something we need to get used to as in February, the end of February, it will be pretty much constant. Every week or second week, we'll be playing uh, three games. After several weeks of injury doubts, the Wanderers could finally have a full squad to choose from come Monday night. We've, uh, we've got everyone fit and available. Uh, possibly Shannon Cole's the only one that, that will be a doubt. Uh, but the rest are all training today. And, you know, with, with a longer week, that actually gives us a good opportunity to, to see whether the players that have been out, whether they can be made available. So that includes Tommy. Uh, he's already trained now three sessions with the team. Uh, and now once he gets this week in, uh, if, if all is well and the medical department clears him, then he has a good chance to, to be available.